Hi everyone, this is your instructor Asma Mushtaq from Double Vibes and in today's lecture I am going to write the expression for the ripple factor of either the half wave or for the full wave rectifier. Okay, so here is the output voltages that we obtain after the filtration process in case of the half wave rectifier and you can clearly see here three parameters are represented in this waveform that are v peak to uh, v peak rectified v peak to peak voltages and vdc if you look at here the uh, uh, the output voltages with respect to the ground or the peak value of the output voltage with respect to ground is marked as vpr while the capacitive voltages that you obtain from peak to peak or the value that you actually get from peak to peak of this rectified output voltage is mentioned as V peak to peak while VDC is the average value of the output voltage that you will measure across the DC volt meter. Okay, so let's see uh, what is the value of the ripple factor in case of uh, half wave or full wave rectifier. Generally, we re uh, represent the ripple factor by the R and it is given as v peak to peak divided by v dc and obviously it is represented in percentage that's why you have to multiply it with 100 okay so if you look here we can uh, represent the v dc voltages in terms of the given parameters vpr and vpp like that you can see v p rectified minus v peak to peak divided by 2 how graphically because v d c is lying in between v p r and reference ground and if you subtract this portion you will get v d c from v p r so in order to subtract this portion i have divided v p p by 2 so that half of its voltage waveform is obtained and then you will simply subtract it from VPR in order to get VDC. So this is the first expression or you can say this is your equation 1. Fine. Now when the peak to peak value of the output ripple voltage is small compared to VDC and obviously it's usually true we can assume that the load current is essentially constant and will discharge Y capacitor linearly according to the basic equation that we can derive from Q is equal to C V and from here we can write it as change in the capacitor voltage is equal to Q over C fine these voltages are actually changing across the capacitor while charging or discharging so that's why the charge will also be changing and according to the equation i is equal to dq over dt or simply q is equal to i into dt we can substitute this expression in change in capacitor voltage like i into dt divided by c fine because delta v is the reduction in the capacitor voltage over the time interval delta t or dt and i is the current discharging the capacitor now you can notice that delta t or dt within our discussion is very close to the period of the rectified waveform therefore we will replace delta v with VPP because they both are similar and the for above expression can be written as delta V is replaced by VPP now and IL is actually the load current and DT is the time period of the rectified waveform so I can represent this as TR over C we know that tau is equal to 1 over f or time period is equal to 1 over f so this becomes i l here i will write down c and frequency of the rectified output voltages 
IL is the load current, okay, and this is present across the resistor RL. So according to the Ohm's law, V is equal to IR and I is equal to V over R. Fine. So just make further substitutions. You will get IL is equal to V over RL C F rectified. Since DC voltages will be developed across the load, that's why we will represent it as VDC. Fine. So here we are having the expression for VP peak, which is equal to this. Now substitute this expression or equation, which is mentioned as equation number two, into the equation number one. So putting the value of VP peak over here, we will get VDC as it is minus V peak rectified minus V, sorry, this is equal to, fine. So VDC divided by 2 as it is and then F R L C and F is the frequency of the rectified output voltages. Okay. Now you can take this expression on the left hand side and you will get VDC plus VDC divided by 2 F R L C which is equal to V peak rectified by taking V D C common from here you can write it as V D C into 1 plus 1 over 2 F R L C is equal to V peak rectified okay so once you are having the value of V peak rectified You can substitute it in this expression and determine the value of VPP and in this way you will be able to find the value of the ripple factor. Thank you for watching.